I paint because I have to paint. And the, the result, it's uh, in the lap of the goat. Uh, the only justification for my existence is that I paint. My first drawings were done on the site uh, of the house. We were living in the country with hunters walking by. I was five and a half, and I, I, I draw with the indelible pencil on the white walls of the house, the hunters and the dogs. And it seems that ever since I continue to drawing and painting. When I was about 14, my parents made the interview with the head teacher of the Polish Academy of Art. He looked at my drawings and said, you came to me uh, like a sick person to a doctor, and I have to diagnose you as incurably ill. For the rest of your life, you're going to paint. After the war, when I entered the Academy of Arts in Brussels on, on scholarship of Polish government in London. I, I was exceptionally successful. My painting evolved fully after my study in Belgium. I fully mastered all manners of painting. It's an effortless experience. It's something that I am not conscious of. I don't know what I'm going to paint. The, 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 the things which I do are uh, impossible to explain. They took place almost like if they were uh, done by someone else that's directing my hands. I eventually uh, had to migrate and I arrived in Australia in March 1950 in Melbourne with another 1,200 new uh, migrants. When I first came to Australia, I had to work in, in, uh, uh, as a laborer, working on the roads, sugarcane cutting, uh, real hard labor. And, and that was the time when I did not paint at all. Not even did any drawing. Uh, and the, all that period, it's void, it's empty. After five years, I, I applied and became Australian and worked in, uh, as a commercial artist in the printing companies till finally uh, I uh, ended up with the uh, University of Technology. This I worked for 18 years and retired, moved first to Queensland and then to Kirke Heights, where I finally could indulge in painting full time. When I paint, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. The idea is mental. The execution is purely physical. Uh, for instance, when you look at the, uh, uh, the, the, the vertical, my, my self-portrait uh, as a totem pole, story of my life. And it shows the symbolism of Poland and Warsaw and the uh, implication of my beginning, different things that happened to me, uh, the, the all sorts of disappointments coming right down uh, to the area where I am already, uh, if I consider myself to some extent disappointment. That's why the reversed 
or a position of a body lying at the bottom. But it is a unique attempt at, at, uh, at self-portrait. You see, the thing is that I have never painted for exhibitions. Uh, I painted uh, because I had to. The, the fact that the exhibition is taking place is the only thing that I am concerned about. You see, even if the exhibition is only of one painting, I'm happy. It's more than satisfactory.